Hey guys, this is Tyler with the Intech, and today is the first episode of Off the Prompter, our new show which is totally off the teleprompter. Let's get started. First we're going to be talking about Android. Now Android has always been plagued with fragmentation. Android fragmentation can be seen in many ways despite how an Android users feel. I think Android's a slick, pretty cool operating system. I've used Android devices before. I had one for a little while, and I liked it. But today we're going to be talking about basically its flaws. Ice Cream Sandwich does promise less fragmentation than current operating systems, but so did Honeycomb. Now, Honeycomb adopted the more Windows Phone-esque uh, model for selling. They didn't allow any of the other guys to just say, Hey, we want your OS, just give it to us. They were like, Motorola, Samsung, someone else, go make tablets. That's how they were. And that's how Microsoft was. And I think the model works pretty well, but they just didn't execute it well. What I think the problem was, was Android tablet apps. The selection is still just about as small as the HP Touchpad apps are, and it's really pretty much pathetic compared to the several hundred thousand and uh, tablet-specific apps on the iPad. Now, another thing is when people see uh, any tablet, they say, iPad. I've seen this. I mean, with my Touchpad, people think, iPad. I should go buy an iPad. That looks cool. iPad. They don't think, oh, that's what tablet is that? Is it an, is it an HP touchpad? Oh yeah, that looks kind of cool. I'm, I think I'll go buy one. They don't do that. They just don't. So what I think uh, will separate Honeycomb from Ice Cream Sandwich will be that it's available for any device and it's one unified operating system. The two OS deal really confused buyers having 2.3 is the phone version and 3.0 is the tablet version. That just made extra confusion that was unnecessary. Now some other problems about Android are its market. Despite low availability of tablet apps, there's a lot of apps that shouldn't be available. The Netflix app that just recently came out for other devices. Uh, it was a, The Netflix app for Android was announced a while ago, but due to DRM stuff, it had to wait and only play on select devices. So these guys came up, oh, let's just go scam some people, make an app that looks identical to the real Android app, play up as Netflix, and watch people give us their credit card information. And that's what lots of people did. And it just stole their information. It was a huge scam. And there's lots of those on Android. They really need to take care of their market. I'm not saying remove freedom of speech and stuff. I don't I think that's a good thing, but there shouldn't be viruses on the market. So Honeycomb was supposed to basically handle with all of that, but didn't work and it was discontinued meaning many of those apps won't even work on ice cream sandwich so they just basically went down the garbage can another problem is bad update management it's just been terrible there's many devices still on 2.1 most devices are on 2.2 still HTC has been pretty good about updating to 2.3 but I still see brand new Android devices with outdated versions, and it's really sad to see that they're not getting the most up-to-date version. They need a unified thing. Microsoft has been good about this with Windows Phone 7, and Apple's been great about it because they have total control, and Microsoft has almost all control, so that's been pretty good. But Google, they have basically no control beyond the foundation of the OS. Companies can put any crap on their advertisements, n like NASCAR apps, all of that stuff, and you can't remove it. Uh, and that's really a big problem. 
<clears throat> now, one thing I thought was, like, devastating, well, not really devastating, really bad is Motorola, which was recently purchased by Google. Or, the deal's not officially done, but they're basically working together now. Have just released the Droid Razor. This is a pretty sleek looking phone, super thin, super sexy, but you know what? It has, it runs gingerbread. And today is the day that the Nexus Prime and Ice Cream Sandwich are released. The Nexus Prime is worked out with a deal between Samsung and Google. So it's like Google first met with HTC, went out, made a, made a kid, and then uh, broke up with them. So now they have that device they're still supporting. Now got together with Samsung and are now, now have an open relationship with Motorola and Samsung together. So it's really messy. And basically, I'm guessing Samsung is like, no, we want Ice Cream Sandwich to be exclusive on launch to the Nexus Prime, and then you can go play on other devices. So that's why I think is not originally getting Ice Cream Sandwich. They want the first device to have Ice Cream Sandwich, which is really stupid, I think, because they should try to get to as many devices as possible, especially devices that are basically owned by Google. So th those are my thoughts on Android. What are your thoughts? I'm not negative about Android. I think it's a great operating system. I just think there's so many problems with it. It's not really ready for mainstream, even though it has become a really mainstream operating system. It just often confuses people. So what are your thoughts? Do you think these actually matter? Do you think that people don't care about that stuff and they're just like, give me a new phone. I have an iPhone 3G, it's slow. What do you think? So just post a comment in the comment bar and let me know. Thank you for watching. Please check out our channel, check out our site, and subscribe to this channel, Lowest Tech Guys, and comment and react. <laughs> Bye.